is the future year of 20 X-ray X-ray. X-ray is the military for X. X it's billion terms, but ladies and gentlemen, in case you forgot me, I'm not in the military yet. Yet, the operative word. But I pride myself on thousands of military days. And you know what? Things are pretty okay. Worked as a floor attendant the fun flex for two weeks now. Hard work to be so rewarding. In a spiritual sense, at least. Help down and prepare for mom's students. I've had to prepare to see mom's students. I've been just about to fly out in the 1960s. Evacuate game is a kitchen next to the cut fire. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I had numerous kids puking up nachos with my clothes. Scraped them off numb of surfaces. I chased them off like used to. It turned out to be tired too much spiders to have a single ball machine. Okay, look, I know I'm not painting them. This is very busy pictures so far. But honestly, I'm happy. I'm happy even with all the chaos and ghosties. I'm happy. That's all that matters, right? I was wondering if he was talking to, who I was talking to. Right, you're happy. All of these sound effects, so 8-bit retro style. It's the best I've seen in the ages, Bob. Before you come all home all the and exhausted. Now, well, you're still tired, but a good time. I only did that. She took us to stop by during the lunch break, but she could get away from the office cubicle long enough to do so. It's still hard work, don't get me wrong. But overall, it's good work. I feel... I just feel good. Totally good stuff. Good. Great. Super good. Double plus good. I should have talked about you listening to you know, one of my conversations. Why did I tell you about that? To pretend I was even a job for you more than Exactly. No, I'd be more upset my, about my creepy privacy and being just a little over mistress. Over mistress? But I have to admit them. I mean, the Irish really pulled through for me. <laughs> Even if she also ordered three months of pie and pizza bag on the bottom. Well, you can go a whole lot worse than that. But Bob with the pizza on bagel. So, Jupiter, how long do you have left for your break? Anytime you squeeze this pinball or something? Because it's probably tokens. No can do. A new assistant synergy manager means team <coughs> electric exercise. I have to like move colored bits of paper around or something like that and exchange my fives. Assistant synergy manager. That sounds like a very big job. Nah, it's actually an entry level. Good pay and right on the track of the middle management. Pretty cushy if a bit dull. My thing is they is to be the way by your fit. Before this store, I'm a candidate, so I said, Nope, who want to do that? When was this exactly? Oh, two weeks ago. So, two weeks ago, right when I need to find work, you told me you didn't know any good candidates for a well paying and drill job. <laughs> oh, um, well, uh, but you would invite me. Being a system search match, right? Not one bit. Juniper. Please tell me you said told him no because I'd already taken this job at this point. Not because you forgot. <laughs> His face. Hey, I didn't forget. I just, you know, didn't bother telling you about the open list that night. I mean, you already had so many jobs you hated. I knew you'd hate being an assistant search manager, so I didn't feel the need to tell you. And it all worked out, right? It's been the last five minutes, so I'll be about half, half you are here. Just point. Not I. I was happy here indeed. Also, not I. I haven't packed pizza bagels for lunch. If you have pizza bagels for breakfast. Because we barely had enough money to cover the work was they pulled together. Also not why, Gavin constantly hiding numbers from us. Insisting things were fine, all while drawing joking about perpetually being on the edge of crash and burn. 
Also, not a lie, that every time someone in my family tries to chase him to have his accessibility, we fall deeper and deeper into debt and misery. Bob, say something, you're scaring me. Well, I lost my life guard job, but barely reacting. Didn't care that I was in poverty again, faced with a certain future. Guess one of the nasty side effects of no longer having to go flows, no longer being numb to reality in this situation. But I shouldn't feel upset. Been genuinely enjoying my time in Fun Flex. I took a risk and paid it off in terms of mental health, not my physical health. I have no right to be angry or upset losing an opportunity of a safe, more stable future. Right? I'm not going to be harsh, I'm going to say this, so I won't be angry with yourself, simple as that. I decided I was done compromising, right? Don't settle in, don't go with the flow, go and be the one break the family curse. Choose this path my own free will, as all should do. Even if I didn't have all the facts at the time. But if I'm going to be honest, boundless confidence doesn't cover the fact that I chose to be vulnerable rather than safe. The arcade closes, anything goes wrong. Still, no need to not fall down, Jennifer. It's okay, Jennifer, you're right, I'd hate that job. Things are great here. Oh, good, you're kind of freaking me out, Bob. Trust me, it's the right decision. You'll learn to loathe working in an office like I do. Indeed, I never wanted to settle for office work myself in real life. I mean, sure, the pay is good, and you get solid health insurance and pay vacation time, and they have a sweet coffee shop right in the lobby. And there's these really great... Oh, let's see. Well, there's from Sweden. They're not American, so... I wouldn't care anyway. Dream by shit is fine. Everything is fine. Honestly, I'm okay. I mean, I'm with not a job could have been a safer bet. I want to contribute to my fair share of apartment rent, you know? What's done is done. I'd rather look forward rather than back, indeed. Right! Right! Forget I say anything. Please forget I say anything. I'm sorry, I should have told you. I shouldn't have held that back. But I still wouldn't push you to take another job. It's really hard. It's totally horrible in the office. You've been miserable there. Like me. Juniper, it's cool. You're right. I'd have hated it. Okay. Okay, good. Got a good feeling about this. I think you're right where you need to be. Even if I was uh, kind of awful about getting there. Hey, I gotta go back to the office. Have a good lunch, okay? I can feel this rumble frozen box of pizza bagels taunting me from the recent replay for the bank room. Yeah, okay, and you have a good rest of the hours you're there, yeah? You bet. I'm okay with this. Everything is fine. Right? Right. What I need now is a distraction. A frozen pizza bagels are certainly not it. Pocket money is really slim, but. I think I need to step out for fresh air and treat my lunch to a bunch better than treat my lunch to a treat myself to a lunch better than that. Hey, that was a company too. Much of the shackings come talking about anything other than this. Let's see, who's available? Okay, so uh Let's see this is it's not often that both floor attendants can all break at the same time. Just take advantage of that and see if Esther wants to grab some chair. So this is what she looks like underneath that suit. It's pretty cool. On the plus side, I will not be much of a pinky phone plex mango. She's in a serious day. Hey, hey, Bob, what's up? Kitchen on fire again? I'll wait for your work. I can't believe it. Not yet. And to avoid that happening again, I've just have one somewhere else. 
You know, I was just about to suggest that. Both burning down the kitchen and going out for a bite. Sounds great. Maybe taking a breathe and stepping outside these walls will help take my long enough for everything that's happened this morning. Actually, I'll skip how I just have the story get lost in. You know, I could get some points. Oh, hey, I know where we could go. You haven't seen the whole story yet, have you? No, not yet. I've been ex existing off all these pizza bagels. I do love me some pizza bagels, especially the sausage ones. I wonder how it would make all those Thai sausages fit into them bite sized morsels. Like, is it all conveyor belt with lots of sharp plates? Chopping down at insane speeds? I wouldn't want to be caught in that, no way. Focus, okay, actually. Whole story? Oh, yes, the adorable little bookstore that lost yourself coffee and donuts. Get it? Oh, story. <laughs> Not fair puns, I take it. Nevertheless, I guess we have from so many dogs. Let's go. Despite coming to this little ship off for two weeks, I hadn't exactly actually visited their neighbors. Most of the whatever we need to do it. Took us from Gavin when I had to actually know me, things like that. Whatever the job I have to call for. No more, no less. Couldn't say I've been a part of any community outside me, a circle of my co workers. Whereas the others visit the whole story frequently. Actually, leads the way into a shop that smells swimming with dusty old books with sugary sweetness. Oh, this is cool, can if a bit dim in the lighting. And I don't think I've ever been to a world independent bookstore. Oh, come on, man, you've been depriving yourself. Books are awesome. Books own. More books are off of that, man. Sweat. Okay, well, that, that's a point, because you can get them on mine and such. Despite the subdued atmosphere compared to the arcade, there are customers present in account for except the coffee, beating all tomes, and yes, much and doors. Ashley secures a tiny table for us before directing me to the bar. Hang on, what the heck is up with this menu? It's organized. Oh, jeez, Dilly Decimal says, I haven't heard that since the early 90s. I have the Judy Bloom! It's a bunch of mini doors. Hey, my treat, okay? Cash is tight. Booksy, cafe pastries, wait, pump, this is way so much. Pay a meal, these guys wait to take my order. Had like, uh, hmm. Yeah. One super sweet ch glazed chocolate sprinkle. Actually, yeah. Yeah, him, Philly, we, how, Philly, we call him Jimmy's, we don't call him sprinkles. Special surprise with orange juice. Ah, oh, Shell Silverstein, nice. So then, I speak his name because he served in the military. He was actually a World War II vet, and he's an awesome poet. He wrote all kinds of poetry that was, uh, Said to be for kids, but it could really be enjoyed by anyone. One chocolate root sprinkles and orange juice coming up. It's like a fellow puts together my orange drops. Also drops a small book of extremely silly poetry. Yeah, exactly. That's what right. it tells so we see about on a straight way. Huh. A literally very, very bunch. We all cased apparently. Uh, alliteration, sorry, my bad. Say, you work the fun facts, don't you? Right, we see you walk past our doors every morning and evening. Like clockwork, tick tock. Right, sorry, I seem introduced myself. Both them Bob and Mom at your service. I'm the inside guy for tokens and tickets. Oh, well, we're lousy at video games. Totally lousy. Francis is the peach, isn't he? Sweetest damn you ever meet. 
Regardless, fuck the little story. I'm bent though. How do I do that? I'm bent. I'm mad. No list to the actors. Oh, they Oh, jeez. This is gonna feel awkward for me. Although they're cute, it's so weak. Oh, stop. Stop being cute? Never. <laughs> See, I do. Apparently, the sugar is available in the form of the man holy. Anyway, don't let's get room for your phone with date. We dream of it. It's not a date. Just friends then? Friends and friends on a play date? We need the real days with the friends we made the wrong way. So the real friends we the friends we made the wrong way. What if the way with also the real friends who made friends the wrong way wait? Okay, now you just uh, silly. And how? Anyway, anyway, next door, please. <sighs> Fair waves to the next customer, so I return to the passage table with our so I'm nice to decorate wind tray. These meat are just so cute. Ashley holds up a tiny door in her hands like a chipmunk holding an acorn. <laughs> she looks down the tiny pastry and her eyes sparkle before she takes a bite. Close the eyes and call her mouth curl into a wide smile. Bob, it's so yummy! I can eat these all day! Wish I could ask an Ashley's enthusiastic about eating food. Same old pizza bagel stay after day, it's only on my palate. Oh jeez, what's this? Hey Bob, is everything okay? You're on your normal stuff today. You seem a little off. It's been an interesting morning. It's kind of hard to wrap my hand right out of it. Hey, I know how those days go. Even I feel lost and confused sometimes. There are days when it's especially rough. Yeah, it's just like keep talking to it. For now. Hmm. How do I explain this? I know, I know. It seems totally unlikely, but honestly, deep down, I'm scared. I don't really know who I am. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, I know, don't know who this person is who's staring back at me. I mean, my heart hearts. I know I'm Ashley Wolf, but that's all. What makes up Ashley Wolf? Who am I? Who am I really? That's what I'm searching for. Yeah. Yeah, that did take it. I don't want serious. Life's too serious as it is. I can't say I'm entirely... I can't entirely say I'll get what she means by not knowing who she is. Well, no, I can't get it considering I don't know what I want from life. What you want and who you are are often linked to ideas, right? But I still look so forlorn. I can't buy and say nothing. What was the sound trying to Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I wonder if Ashley uses cosplay as a way to help explain the world to discover things you wouldn't have seen without it. Cosplay helps you find what you're looking for, right? So shocked and slightly embarrassed. Why embarrassed? Whoa, how'd you guess? Are you psychic? You have to tell me you're psychic. What is the psychic rules? No, no, it just makes sense, right? We all have a mask, do we not? Yeah, we do. I reflect on life. I really love cosplay and I love the rush springs. I get to be whoever I want, whenever I want. Be a spaceship captain? No. Giant pink flamingo vest? Are you? I don't have to worry about Ashley. Focus on being someone else. Awkward in my own skin. When I'm in costume, I feel like I'm at my fullest potential. I feel comfortable. But I think cosplay was really helped me understand some things about myself that I couldn't see before I started doing this. I just want to be able to love the person who I. I am my father. Knowing you, I think you'll do just fine, man. You can smile for kids to a pink flamingo mask, you smile for yourself. 
I hope so. I really do. I saw soft came along me for a second before stepping back to attention. Oh my, I've just talked to you right off. Beep beep, lunch time is over, Bob. Right on, Pop. Thanks for listening, Bob. I mean it. And you know, if you ever want to talk about your problems, I'm here. I mean, I'm here to plan this. Yeah. So, like, I'm here for you too. That's what friends are for. I totally know I might be able to slip my hands here, but I feel like lately you've just been going through the motions in the fun place. Huh? Oh no, things are great with me in the fun place. Punch in, punch out on top, sure. But I've seen Bob. There's so, so much potential. Indeed, everyone does in real life. The flame burns deep inside. You just gotta dig down and bring out that light, you know? You do great things, I just know it. And totally lady long enough. We should get back to Gavin before he notices we're gone. Time for the afternoon shift. It's used, that's usually when things heat up after quiet mornings. More kids coming in after school, more programmers won't cruise. <coughs> I head back to my desk ready to take care of what needs to take care of where I'm going to sit there and move. Bob, Ashley, you're both back. Good. I was hoping you'd come back for this grab two before we left. Oh, what's up? Asthma's up. He is? Ah, okay. Actually, I'll bring Van around shortly. Bob, you'll be fine, so... Hang on. What's happening, Sandy? Who's Asthma? Asthma's game fine and auctioneer. Gives next to no one. And gives... To no, and gives next to no notice when new block figures we going into the gavel, so we need to move. Ashley and I will be a fair scene and I will be going to the auctions for the rest of the shifting while you run the front place. My first instinct is to not go along with it. Gavin's the wall around these parts. But Ashley's words are still there in my mind. The one that needs to be doing is great and all, but maybe I need to suffer a more. Plus the idea of they trapped me here, they were not heavy stars, no support, so the feeling. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. <laughs> me? Seriously? Did we learn nothing from the great Christian fire of 20? The x ray, x ray, the bomb is using all our potential perpetual bad luck? I carry all my crews, spoiled him, and that's good. You pay for all. Pizza bagels! Whatever. Hey, hang on. I got to say this too, right? This fellow Fullerton. He likes such a third wheel anyway. Let Bob be the third wheel. I need him to fall. The finest third wheel you've ever met. Trust me. I just want to do something more like that. Different things. New things. So it's like... I suppose we won't bring, change what to bring Bob instead. No custom time to Ashley. The nine plus fingers on doing his stick jams. Thank you for being source for the afternoon. I'm happy to, just happy to be able to focus out when we're the other. You should get the van. We have front, please. We'll probably be closed by the time we get back, so I'll see you in the morning. Flower Ashley assistant away! Even me, you know, waiting outside with my two chair companions. Not much time to help me to chat how this game falls as a fan to a rental and rental trail around. Oh my, how exciting! I really go on adventures these days. It's just a trip, quick trip, man. Any trip is an adventure if you make it one. True, shall we? Four of us piling and soft fill on the hard way.
Gavin consulting and driving map on his phone. Dude, this is the thing from the Scooby Doom thing. Fuck you, sir. We just have this slave fire a series of weird turns of back road. Trust me, this will save time in the long run. Where's Hasbro set up this time? On site in the abandoned state just outside of town. It's about to be torn down, but they found a trove of arcade games in the basement. So exciting! I love arcade raids! Yeah, this sounds awesome! Arcade auctions. Raids! Auctions! Alright, uh, you guys got arcade to English six and a half bar? You can see them without looking up for any answers. A raid is when a bunch of collectors get together and rescue games before they get pre-chucked by their original owner. Auction is when some when sells off their arcade games one at a time to a crowd of active players. So, which is this, raid or an auction? It's both, dearie. As for that sweet boy bust up private collections before they can be thrown away. Rescues him for that terrible fate and then auctions off his fine. Sort of. Okay, now I'm fuzzy on the sword part. I'm newbie here, remember? Well, okay, so Hasbro obviously auctions off games for cash money, but he's a very whimsical kind of guy. Once I saw him trade off a Vince's burger time exchange for some super secret chili recipe of pasta. Down through generations of family. I would never give away my chili recipe. Not that I can anyway, I always have changed it. In other words, he's <laughs> Ooh, that's that's awesome. Be proud to be crazy. It'd be a lot simpler if it was just right. We pay them up for him to play games one card away. Steady ambushes us with these impromptu auctions, make us come down and entertain his whims. I think it's sweet. He wants to make sure the games go to good homes to people who really want them, even if they can't pay. And really, we should be honored to get an invitation. It's going to cut out the big franchise for our kids like Delco, Zico's place, and help the little guys like us. So the fishing we lost in two. We tie on keeping my husband's good side. Huh. And get this. Nine ways root, probably. Guess your husband's the sort of person who look like a good kid. Have the, the game of his dreams for free. Doesn't care about money, he cares about people, am I right? Yep. Correct the mundo! Hasbro's a great guy. Is he really hard to predict? Sure. He's got a big heart, and that means something in this business. Not enough big hearts left some days. That's because that's how you pay the bills of kids to open up. I have a big heart. But it does have a point. Okay, I won't say that we... <coughs> it's, we could sometimes squeak out trade this practice to steal things for the person who loads up rarity. Let's not push too far here. We need to temper our expectations a little, I suspect. We don't have room to sit up too many games, especially the rugs like Hasbro usually deals in. What about the outside storage here? We can just rotate games in and out more often. Nearly full to bursting. They're not cheap for us to rent on a monthly basis. I'm not saying we have to go home empty handed. Certainly a few holes in our roster we can fill, so if we find the next deal, be the other players. But consider this, but there anything else, a way to maintain relations with Hasbro, even if we don't have anything. Aww. Now, now, Naomi, Gavin knows the numbers. I'm in favor of making other fun facts more and more fun, but forced piece is finite. And Gaffer, remember, if we need some darn little game, now we will leverage the adoration or we can fully retire in our older game. Life, my young friends, is a series of trade offs. Well, is it better to, you know, not to sell and compromise all the time? Well, now, they're trade offs, but they're trade offs. 
It's so easy, you should never compromise. It's so easy, you should always compromise. It's what you compromise that defines who you are. You're all still, you're all so young yet. You've got time to make mistakes and learn what trades you want to make. Unless you don't plan, unless you don't move around your apartment or your stomach's growling. I wish the gym would push me out. Push me to stop something for less to help life. Stand up for myself and my happiness. I've done just that without regret. So, everything should be fine now, right? Right? No default conversation stuff. It's frozen the weather. Well, at least it's a nice day for now, right? Oh, come on! Wonderful. We have first piss bags for Kevin to just in case. That's it, Kevin. Always think you hate. Trying to protect your investments, huh? Razor's invitation. Hazel, why did I say Hazel all the time? Razor's invitation seems like this. Okay, we've largely been in Western Park. Red now and add water damage to the films the games are already suffering. So sad when we come across a wonderful game that's just room beyond the air. I was quite to show the collection of live love, but I just don't care. The final games of Barnes expose the elements of falling apart. I suppose this is one thing we can easily be on. It's important to take care of your games. Indeed, it just is important to take care of anything in your life. For the resale value, broken games are fun to play with. It's a shame since the quest could be terrible condition to be. Say pinball. Pinball games are very prone to break down, pretty to the other one. To experience them in the glory you need to okay. You can be on the bus to game wearing no cords. It feels like a waste of a fire game for a battle. A waste of true potential. Ah. Point. That was a good point. Let's see if we get him on better. Even if I only kept the air for attacking him on the way there. With the rain pounding down, the fan roof conversation gets a bit, bit cold. Gradually, uh, when the zoom is filled with their phones and their drive. We need to wonder exactly where is this auction and or rain is happening anyway? We drive us some time, only leaving the city far behind. What would be a massive, what would a massive trove of arcade games be doing around all this, this quiet existence? Maybe it's just a close down road, but we're all blowing now. Cool! Maybe it's like, maybe it's three fuel tanks. Like on by eight cents, eight cents, and one hundred and ninety four dollars. Why does that make sense? Is there a reason? Ah, the classic mob looking funny. So much disability. I love this music. Gavin <laughs> yeah, pulls up alongside a number of other bands and trucks. Will the way seats. Is this really auction site? Creepy. Definitely creepy. At least me, I'm people we get to. No, 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 A large group is already crowded in the forward and crumbling estate, but no, but one rushes forward to greet us in the blur as the other people emerge. Greetings, friends! Hasbro welcomes our friends to the fun facts. Welcome, welcome! Gavin's stalwart as ever. Now we love you, come to love what you've done with your hair. This friend seems views for past only by wisdom. Oh, fresh! And a new player it seems. Who might you be? Bob Mom. 
I see. Greetings to you and yours. I'm known as Hasmus. You could have had two pretty fine of things. Play of lost games. And welcome to, well, not my home, but a place where Hasmus shall provide hospitality regardless. Yeah, that, that's not really all that. Uh, all that old. I mean, I was born in '87. I was on where. Reagan, yeah, President Ronald Reagan, he was a great man, a true president, only what we have today. I was wondering where Reagan, uh, our amusement team, for it takes on part with Torn Shroud. <laughs> <laughs> you have fire indeed, but rest assured, may it, many a holy grail may look at the hole in the arcade below. You may even find your own relic by a holy nature by Eve's end. Last, now I'm going to enjoy com fine company by my mom. Perhaps later, but for now, it is time. Clappy touch, place for attention, and as for values, the small crowd into the room to win the scenes. Friends, companions, long time allies of the noble art of the arcade, welcome, welcome to Donna Wood. It's a story that begins nearly 30 years ago when popular musician Donna Michaels. Of such taste as thrilling and mama don't mope, the state with pleasure's dumb decree. Here, the reclusible adult crafted private amusement park, Peg Zoo, and the arcade. Alas, she could only enjoy this paradise for a short ten years before a tragic end. Needless to say, it's fallen on hard times ever since, and this year we should. It should be torn down to make way for condominiums. But not before we have our say. Friends, those games that Donna Michaels cherished still left one floor below, rather ready to be rescued from such a terrible fate. It is our more imperative to do so. I've paid the estate owners a princely sum for the entire lot. Now has been parcels them out to you. By all means, browse the collection and see what pieces to say after you. Oh, and on the fourth table you find refreshments. Great spark of iron delicacy for my travel. Mingle, cavort, and we shall begin to bring in the walk auction in one hour's time. Indeed, a lavishly arranged table that probably costs more than any single arcade game put together is Send upon by invitee soon after. Shouldn't this be capitalized? Romeo and Roman? Romeo is the military effects of this brilliant R. I feel like I'm attending some ancient Roman celebration of debauchery and caught in an arcade phase or an arcade auction or whatever. Donna Michaels! I know it! I should have recognized that when we pulled in, but it was training too hard. Who? You never heard of Don Michaels? She was the highest vehicle act 1980 something. <laughs> Naomi, I was born in 1990. Let's just say that. I'm totally plugging my phone into the van stereo so we can best girls just want to play games all the way home. Let's take on girls just want to have fun. I think that was Madonna. To her, or someone else, I'm not sure who. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure it's been dying. But first, I'm gonna check out the cabins are okay. Might run to mingling later. She dashes off with all speed, heading for the city below. Um, suppose I said a little bit. As was always draw, drew an interesting crowd of private arcade owners. Heading for the food stuff, so cabin raises them for you. So he has the excuse to hang out in the east shop with the other clutches. We even made to uh, do stuff. Now I see why I asked who's bored with these events. You haven't smoothed this on me, I was as fine as Prince, he's already napping. It's it, uh, I've got nothing to do. Well, when they up, find someone who knows what the door is to throw my clue. 
the show's more interesting anyway. Game of Thrones, nice. That would be awesome if there was an arcade version of Game of Thrones, but I think there actually is a video game of that somewhere, like uh, on a uh, download thing for online or something. I'm not really interested in why arcade version of Game of Thrones is going on up to you. Kevin can at least, guys. Maybe I want to see Wednesday has been. I want to see this Wednesday arcade has been was talking up. So I dare say it's so mad Whoa. So this is a private collection of Full Face Arcade. I was expecting a handful of games in a pool table or something, but this. This is three times larger than the front place itself. You can coat in dust and disrepair, it's all in spot. And it's also hard to find a, a, anyone in this maze type pack game. Find is a browsing. If I was stuck to see what's worth bidding on, make it crowd as well. Nice! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that was an awesome game franchise. An awesome cartoon back in the day. Awesome movies, awesome everything. Well, some of them were awesome the uh, games, some of them sucked, according to James Rolfe, the angry video game there. But yeah, I had one for the Sega Genesis. It was um, something out. I forget what it was called, but it was like the stone that could like reverse time and such. And it was your job to make sure it didn't fall into the wrong hands. It was pretty cool, that game. But eventually, I located now we're practically cuddling a now continuous shooting into Shield machine. Oh! Bob, look, look! A few pipe variant of the Asian Ninja Turtles. These were only released in the Ocean region. Such a rare find. Wait, wasn't that game was in four play? Why would they one one version with only two joysticks? Well, because because I mean it's rare. It's a find. And it's less fun. Not the point. Anyway, it's been hard to find one of these, two player or four player. Love to have in the arcade, love to have that, and this one, and this one, and... Oh, if I could only take all these home with me. I mean, someone has, some have water damage, but others are, like, we have busted CRT, there's Charlie, Romeo, Tangos, and all the other characters, and trolls. They all need work, but... I call the game she was working on my first man. Sense of repairs indeed, just to make it playable. So, not only would you have to bid and win the game, you also have hours of work and playing a spare parts to purchase to you. I know, isn't it great? Indeed, spare parts anyway. I don't really like hours of work. Okay, is there a nice way to see this? I'll save here just in case. They deserve to try as they did once ages ago. Indeed. If I could turn back the clock and let them be what they could truly be, people could play them as they were in their prime. Well, there's no real feeling. They would enjoy the challenge of restoration too. Pay hardware, play some damage, start the problem solving broken monitors. You know me so well, Bob, exactly. And all that's admirable. I really love how happy these projects make you, aren't we? But there's a flip side. How much time does it take to restore a game? Hmm. I'd say if it's in good shape, maybe a few hours. It's really, if it's really a wreck, it needs extra love, a few days, maybe weeks, if the parts are on back order. Okay, now think of the games we currently have and how many still need work or break down frequently. You take on a bunch of new projects? Well, uh, I, I, 
could make time work late, right? Even real bottom of seven is the limit. It's not fair. I know, I mean, I'm not dense. I know there's probably too, so only so much we realistic to do. So many projects we actually should take on. I wish we could do more. Wish we could do. More. Wish we could do more. Funplex has never really been a success. Even before I came on board, it was all we were struggling to stay afloat. I joined before I, because so few arcades have games I love. But I can turn any waste rock. I can't turn any arsenic waste rock. Okay. No matter how hard I try, don't doubt yourself. Never doubt yourself and your life's way, gentlemen. It's my first job. Part of me hoping, part of me is hoping it'll be my last job too. That I can happily spend all my days taking on these wonderful games. Every kid says they want to be a fireman, a astronaut, a robot cop, or something. Nobody ends up actually doing that. Except me. I want to fix arcade games and. That's what I'm doing. That's all I've ever wanted to do. So when I see these old broken games, I just want to show them the love I can give. I could be happy working on them for the rest of my life. Wow, that's dedication. And really? What's she from school for an arcade job? I mean, I mean, it from jobs, I'm never really sure what I want. That's normal, right? Oh, definitely. I'm the eyeball here. It's funny. I found my heart and found just what I wanted when I needed it. Now, Will. Now I'm scared someday, like, it will come to an end. Now I'm scared someday I'll come to an end. The fun place will close. If the fun place goes under, I really don't know what I'm going to do. All I've ever wanted was to work in an arcade. I live really with my dream. Okay, now I feel bad for putting out her day. Hey, look. You never know, right? Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe some maybe we'll find a game down here please in Thunder Hurts place. Right! Slim hope we both know, but I only claim so e eagle. I'm a bad fan of the Call me stuff and yeah, I need to bring forward to help Well, what's well, quote another 80s thing? We're living on prayer. I made my choice, now I have to make, need to make that choice work. You just need to find the right game. Something you have know, played in a long time, something that will touch the, tug at the stop the strings. It's difficult finding the right balance, especially in the year 2021. 20, That's what this year is, in case you want to make sure you're not going to be uploading this. A lot of games on my support, borrowed time. The game be prepared, right? Well, yeah, for now. But CRTs, monitors, the power of these old games. Before LCDs, now 3D Plus starting to play some they're short supply, nobody makes them anymore. I mean, who buys a two-based TV anymore? Nobody! It's all high definition and all that weird 3D projection tech which looks awful. Nobody appreciates good CRT anymore. Aren't high definition displays way cheaper though? Seems small games running in the arcades, other arcades. Oh jeez. <laughs> They're wrong is what they are. These games weren't designed for pixel perfect flat panels, they're designed for fuzzy too. The picture looks weird on the LCD. Even 2 weeks in, I'm still fuzzy myself on a lot of this stuff. I grew up in the end age, I'm still coming later. I've got opinions. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, oh jeez, can't see it here apparently. Maybe I can, let's see if I can. There we go. That's the escape button. That worked. 
Okay, um... Let's try this. Hang on, can't you think about using a high definition screen? Just make the picture fuzzy, yeah? Big screen lines, bend the little sim, makes it curve too. Done. Ah, that sounds awful. Okay, maybe that wasn't what I was supposed to use, so... Ah. Go back to the loading where I was. Must stay on the route. Hey, cheap and easy solution to all that. Install an LCD and buy baseball that with someone else's Corey and bonk them over the head. There's always a chance to get the niche and become JRPG protagonist as a result of. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I should go with my gut. That's always too funny. You know, if not from that massive lawsuit, I'd love to see you try that. Seriously, it's important to use red part for the right job. Play stuff in modern game, for instance, I won't be forced to use it too. Yeah, I'm glad you're with us in the fun place. But if you take my side of the other side, it's just nice to have someone who cares about games around. Ashley's fun, but she's more, way more into cosplay and gaming. But it's all kind of odd, you know? What? I feel like I'm not alone. I know that sounds dramatic, but I'm so used to toiling away in my little workshop with Ashley and Gavin not really caring about things I love. They're kind enough to me and friendly. Well, Ashley is, but ever since you show up, I feel like there's someone with me. It's odd. I'm not complaining now. I guess it, takes, it just takes getting used to it after years of. Feel I'm pretty content to be alone. Away from strangers, crowds. I don't. I mean, it's not really my thing. I don't really remember the Gavin does or Sirius does like Ashley does. And you know, I'm starting to make things weird, so I'm gonna stop there. Besides, I'm just bent on taking inventory down here. How about you and I? Slowly sound stomping from the feet. What the? Sounds like it's a fight or something going on up there. I think we better go see what's what. Quickly, I'll just say this. That's gonna be in this chat, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to subscribe now. So, back.